Well, what a year it has been, hey? <laughs> we couldn't have imagined it this time last year. It's been an extraordinary year. I know that some of you have faced your own personal tragedies and struggles too. All of us have faced the stress and uncertainty of not really knowing what the next day, let alone the next week or month holds. I've been incredibly impressed and moved hearing stories of how GB leaders have supported the children and families in their groups through praying for the children, through offering care packages and so much more. And my prayer for you as you enter this Christmas season is that you and your loved ones will know the comfort and joy of God in this season. If you're anything like me and my family, we're starting Christmas a little bit early. The lights are beginning to go up. The crazy inflatable snowman is out the front. Like we're getting huddled up. We're doing the kind of the Norwegian hygge, getting wrapped up in blankets and drinking way more hot chocolate than is humanly possible. But my prayer for you is that whatever this Christmas holds, however different it is to normal, that you will know the close presence of the Lord. And there'll be a moment during this season where you can stop, maybe light a candle, switch off the lights, and just experience the wonderful presence of God, who is Emmanuel, God with us. God was Emmanuel back with us in March when we had the first lockdown. God was Emmanuel back with us in July when we were still facing what it meant to be in lockdown. And God is Emmanuel with us in this season, and he will be Emmanuel into 2021. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you'll know comfort and joy. And I look forward to seeing what happens with our groups getting up and started again in 2021. But for now, God bless you and have a very blessed, comfort-filled Christmas.